Hi everyone! Are you excited for the upcoming Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack? I know I am. One of the features that I am most looking forward to is nectar making. We've seen a little bit of nectar making in action in the official gameplay trailer, but we got a better look at it in a recent build preview by Chrissy YT over on the Sims official Twitter page. So let's take a look. This is the outside of the build, and it is called Sweet Nectar Glade, and it's by Chrissy YT over on YouTube. She's an awesome simmer who does loads of building videos, so if you like watching people build things in The Sims, definitely check out Chrissy. The living area of this home doesn't have much to do with nectar making, but it's definitely worth taking a closer look at. I love the ornate wood-burning fireplace here, and, and that the kettle on top of it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm also loving this coffee table here with the old-fashioned radio on top of it. The accent table underneath the TV that matches the, the coffee table. There's a Native American inspired horse tapestry here. And this decorative skull on the wall, which I'm not exactly certain what it is. It looks like a cow plant, but cow plants don't have huge horns like that. So maybe it's just a cow skull, or perhaps it's a Wild West version of a cow plant. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. A few other things that I've noticed in here is this wall decoration on the top of this wall. Absolutely love that, that in wood inlay. The Native American basket, weaved basket here, is absolutely gorgeous. And I love that chandelier. There's just so much to look at in this. <laughs> so much to look at in, in this uh, screen grab here. So in the kitchen, we start to see a little more nectar making content. The nectar rack by the window might be decorative only, but the Sims team did confirm in their blog post that Sims can increase the quality and the value of their nectar by aging it on racks. There's also a glass of fresh nectar here on the table. And while not related to nectar making, I want to say how much I love this rug. The kitchen counters are seriously rustic and gorgeous. And the clutter items like the pot and this little candle set here on the table is just absolutely beautiful. I also want to have you to pay attention to this clock here on the wall, which is extremely western. This new refrigerator, which is really cool looking. And these chairs with the metal ornaments there on the edging, uh, absolutely love. So it looks like this lot is perfectly set up for nectar making, with a shed designed for that exact purpose. I cannot get enough of these beautiful sliding barn doors. But of course, we still want to know what's inside. So let's continue this tour of Chrissy YT's build by going inside. So I love everything about this nectar making cellar. The stone floors that are in like a herringbone pattern, absolutely gorgeous and rustic. And they pair perfectly with these flat cobblestone walls. Now these walls, by the way, I just wanted to point out that walls like this are very common here in the UK. And these would, this would make an absolutely gorgeous stone wall fence, you know, if you're doing any builds. And of course, I have noticed the ceilings throughout these screen grabs. There is a problem with the ceiling though. Having paintable ceilings instead of the bare white plain ceilings that we get in The Sims all the time in every build would be amazing, but let's not get our hopes up. I have noticed that every ceiling shown in this pack has been the same color and pattern. This could mean that we're just gonna get a choice of default white or this wood for ceilings. If this is true, it's still better than just plain white all the time, but I would like to see more options and hope that we do get more options. The stacked barrels in the background might be where the nectar is stored, or it could just be nice cellar decor, but either way, it's absolutely perfect in a nectar cellar build, and um, I'm thinking a few other uses for it as well. There's nothing much else to take a look at in this green grab except for maybe this lantern here on the wall which is extremely rustic and I absolutely love. We also get another glimpse of nectar glasses 
next to their accompanying nectar bottles. So this one features strawberries. And then if we go back here, we've got grapes and apples. So that's three different types of nectar that we definitely ha will have when this pack is released. And we're, we also get a look in this screenshot of some more nectar making objects. Some are clearly functional since a sim can be seen stomping fruit in this nectar maker. Others might be functional or decor, we just don't know right now. I absolutely love this open case of nectar bottles here, as well as the closed cases. There's also a nectar press right here here in the far right. Some brooms leaning up against some boxes over here that I especially love as well. I'm not quite sure what this is. Nothing to do with nectar making at all, but we've got another swatch here of the horse tapestry and another swatch of the cow plant skull that is more ornate than what was in the house. Going on to the outside, this shows the ranch hand in an outside garden taking care of the plants that are used in the nectar making process. And this window is the nectar shed, so you can see inside, with the, you see the nectar press there. It's really nice that Sims will have another use for the produce that they harvest from their gardens with the new nectar making skill. Being able to sell the raw produce and use it for cooking is great. But whenever we get a new skill that allows us to use what our sims grow or create in a new way is always a big plus for me. So will your sims be turning nectar making into a booming business or will they use it as a relaxing hobby where they can share the fruits of their labor with family and friends? Let me know in the comments. And if you're excited about the Sims 4 Horse Ranch expansion pack, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more news and updates. And don't forget to check out Chris CYT's channel on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.